Hi, welcome to Afternoons with Bev Scott. You know, I've missed you. It's been a while since I've been on television and it feels good to be back. We have a different setup this time. I'm gonna bring some people to you that are interesting, that are doing wonderful, exciting things, and uh, in the hopes that you will be inspired to get out and live your dreams. You know, um, my theme is the peacock. I wanna tell you a little bit about the peacock. It is said that the way that the peacock gets its magnificent tail is by eating thorns. Imagine that. We've all had our thorns to chew, haven't we? And so what I'm saying to you is chew up, get some water and swallow, and get ready to do your own demonstration of magnificence. We have uh, some great guests today. I'm excited about uh, bringing to you people around the Southland. And by Southland, I mean South Side Chicago, I mean South Suburbs, and I mean East Chicago and Gary. I'm gonna be your Southland Oracle. I am going to find and bring to you the people that make life relevant. You know, the last time we did a talk show like this, I spent the entire time giving the whole commentary. And while I'm a talker, I do love to talk. And you can find me on Facebook if you miss me after the show goes off. That's www facebook.com slash Beverly Scott. Look for me there, I have really, really good stuff. You know, um, one of the things though that I have come to find out through my activism and through my charitable uh, work is that there are a lot of people who have a dream inside them that for whatever reasons they can't get it to the next level. We wanna help you take your dream to the next level. You know, it's many different things that hold us back. But I, you know, in talking to people, I would have to say that fear is probably the biggest obstacle to living your dream. Fear manifests itself in uh, many different ways. And as we go through uh, this experience of Afternoons with Bev Scott, we're gonna explore some of the ways that fear holds us back from our dreams. In fact, uh, we'll talk to guests about what has held them back and what was that catalyst that made them say, forget it, I'm going for it. And since I brought that up, why don't I tell you what my catalyst was? You know, there's a Japanese samurai death poem that says, I always knew I'd end up here, but yesterday I did not know it would be today. And isn't life a little bit like that? We start out on a path and some of the circumstances that uh, come into play in our lives are beyond our control. And so we may find ourselves with incidents of childhood trauma or Maybe we uh, make a geographical move and have to make new friends, but whatever happens uh, as a youth that um, captures your spark, whatever that was that captured your spark as a youth tends to move through your life, manifesting itself in various guises, but it really all boils back to that incident that reshaped the way that you saw yourself. I'm trying to remind you that you are who you think you are. I'm trying to let you know that you can begin again. Yesterday, I didn't know that it would be today that I would get the chance to catch you sitting down, surfing that television and landing on me. But since you're here, I want you to understand you're here by divine appointment. So welcome. Nine one 
one, operator 901, where's the emergency? 127, bring me. Okay, what's going on there? I'd like to order a pizza for delivery. Ma'am, you've reached 911. This is an emergency yeah, line. Uh, large with half pepperoni, half mushroom. Um, you know you've called 911. This is an emergency line. Do you know how long it'll be? Okay, ma'am, is everything okay over there? Do you have an emergency or not? Yes. And you're unable to talk because... Right, right. Okay, is there someone in the room with you? Just say yes or no. Yes. Okay, um... It looks like I have an officer about a mile from your location. Are there any weapons in your house? No. Can you stay on the phone with me? No. Uh, see you soon. Thank you. As I mentioned, I wanted to bring to you uh, guests from around the Southland area. I have someone here today, actually some ones here today that are going to just really get you stoked. Uh, a group of young ladies who have already decided that yes, they have a dream and yes, they're going for it. I'm talking about the Glamour Dolls. A group of young ladies from Gary, Indiana that are going to come on and talk to you about how they found their voice. Finding your voice. We talked about fear. But just say that you, you know what you want to do and you've tried different things and it didn't quite work out the way that you wanted it to. Uh, that's where the begin again comes in. You have that dream, you have that desire that you can do because no one else can do it. That's yours. You don't dream of being a, being a brain surgeon. You dream of being that artist. You dream of being that motivational speaker. You dream of being that singer. You dream of having that business. You dream of opening that school. You dream of being a public servant. You have that dream because you came here to fulfill it. Now this is what Afternoons with Beverly Scott is going to be about. And I'm hoping that you'll be so intrigued and so excited that you'll join me every time we're on the air. So, as I said, you can find me on Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash Beverly Scott. Thanks for joining me. Stay tuned. Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I don't know where to start. That's why we're here. We're free, handsome. Oh, I think we're breathtaking. And here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Biology homework, G. I got this. <coughs> Is that brand? <laughs> Colleges love extracurricular activities. That just really isn't my thing. Doesn't matter. Go ahead. Picking a college, man. You and us we go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Fire and ice. Those don't really go together. Go to getschool.com for more info. Welcome back to Afternoons with Bev Scott. I'm your host, Beverly Reed Scott, and I hope you're enjoying the show so far. You haven't seen anything yet. You know, we talked about dreams, and we talked about, um, obstacles that get in the way. But my next guests are a group of positive hip hop artists, young, talented, and beautiful, who have already determined that nothing will get in the way of their dreams. And so I want you to meet them, and I want you to be inspired by them. So without further ado, let me introduce you to the Glamour Dolls. Hi, Glamour Dolls. Hi. How are you? Good. 
Thank you for being on my show. You're welcome. Isn't that fabulous? Do you do that all the time? Yes. yes. <laughs> so listen, um, tell me, how did the Glamour Dolls come into being? Like, which one of you had the calling first? Well, the Glamour Dolls got started by me going to go get singing lessons by a local artist named Lady C. And Heaven and I were there to support, and that's how we became the Glamour Dolls. Heaven and Angel, right? Yes. yes. And Alicia. Yes. Make up the Glamour Dolls. I guess I should ask, so how, are you, how old are you, Angel? I'm 14. 14, and Heaven? I'm 10. And Alicia? 11. 11, 10, and 14. And you already know that this is what you want to do for the rest of your life? Yes. yes. You feel like you came here to sing and perform? Yes. yes. And do you write your own material? Yes. yes. Oh my goodness. You guys are awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so you're from Gary, Indiana. Yes. And you said that um, you had a vocal teacher, Lady C. Yes. I wanted to ask you if you had any background in the church. Yes. So did you um, sing in the choir? Yes. And that's where you got your start? Yes. You found you had a calling for it. That's fantastic. And then so your mom found Lady C for you? Yes. Very good, very good. And so how did you guys happen to be there with Lady C? We had went to support her and try to see how well she was going to do. Uh huh. So we just, when we were sitting there, we all had a group talk together and we decided that we should come up with our own positive hip hop group, the Grammar Dolls. Wow. Heaven, yes. you were in on that? You were there? Yes. And you felt the same way? Yes. Oh, that is amazing. And so from that moment to this, you've been performing around Gary? Yes. yes. In Chicago, Michigan oh. City, Indianapolis. Oh, my. So it's a couple of things I want to make sure that I get, get uh, out to the audience. Number one, you had a really big audition. Yes. Yes. And it was with a really big production. Yes. How did that go? It went well. Um, when we first were sitting there, we were getting prepared, talking, meeting with people, practicing, going over our songs. It, it went really well. It went really well. Were you afraid, nervous? No. no. Not even a little bit? No. <laughs> Not even before they called your name to go on stage? No. no. That's awesome. You all are awesome. I guess I'll let everybody in on the secret. Well, let's all say it together, because you know what? I'm thinking I want to be a glamour doll. <laughs> I'm really loving this. So um, we're going to say, on the count of three, we're going to say what that big production company is that you had that audition with, OK? okay. One, two, three. America. America's, America's got, got talent. talent. Oh, I'm not ready for prime time, am I? <laughs> oh, that's OK. I won't quit my day job. <laughs> but you guys are doing a fantastic, a fantastic job. Um, America's Got Talent. So when will you hear back? Oh, we will hear back next month or at the end of February. Okay, okay, very good. That means that you can come back on my show in March yes. and yes. you can let everyone know how you did with America's Got Talent. Yes. Although I'm sure um, not only America's Got Talent is gonna want you, you're gonna be wanted across the whole, whole United States and global. Are you willing to go overseas? Yes. yes. So tell me, um, what's a group that you, you admire, you, you know, that inspires you? What group inspires us is OMG Girls. OMG Girls? Yes. Never heard of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's OK, though, because I heard of the Glamour Dolls. <laughs> OMG Girls aren't on my show. Um, there was a song that you wrote um, in response to some of the violence that the community has been experiencing. Tell me a little bit about that song. Um, that was our first single, Turn Down. Um, we, made the, we made the song because we have a lot of violence in our city, in our community. We want to calm, it, calm everything down for the youth and for ourselves also. Okay, would you mind doing a little bit of it for me? Yes. Pretend like I'm the president, Barack Obama, and Michelle sitting there, and so you're performing at the White House. Go. So turn down, yeah, yeah. So turn down, yeah, yeah. 
to turn it down, yeah, yeah. Turn up, turn up, turn up, really, what does that mean? Drinking that stuff and smoking them things. Yeah, I see my future, but I don't see your future. Y'all reaching for the sky, but I prefer Jupiter. Stop the killing, stop the drilling, everybody got feelings. Be a man, walk away and see another day. 37 homicides this year in my city. Now waiting for the school bus, ain't looking pretty. Turn down, turn down. <laughs> <laughs> I won't quit my day job. <laughs> so ladies, do you have the support of your family? Yes. Yes. Great, great. We'll talk about that next month because I'm certainly going to have you back. Ladies and gentlemen, the Glamorous Dolls, thank you. <laughs> Good job. Limos whole nine yards yes. And we can't walk down the streets Without security guards And now you know your name Printing on So they say it's a man's world? I don't see anybody's name on it While they were doing their thing We slowly changed all Today women can do anything men can do And there's one thing we're even better at.